welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Shondo on the Go. And now I find myself live on the expo floor from Citrix Summit, and we are talking with longtime partner and great Citrix friend, Scott Manchester from Microsoft. Scott, good to see you Scott again. welcome. Thank you. Now, how long has this Citrix Microsoft relationship been going on? Three decades. Three decades, so yep. 30 years. So suffice to say, neither one of us were actually born when the Citrix Microsoft relationship that's right, started. That's right, that's right. It was our grandparents that started That's it right. Off. All right, I was hoping to corner you here on the expo floor and just kind of get a little bit deeper into what is WVD, or Windows Virtual Desktop. It is a new management solution based out of Azure uh, that provides a, a more complete Windows 10 experience for customers now that want to build virtualization environments. It's the premier platform from hosting O365, where you get the full fidelity office experience now uh, with this virtualization solution. Now, what is Citrix's role in this new WVD solution? We're running the same playbook we've been running for these last 30 years, right? So WVD is both a finished solution, but it's also a platform. We've been working with the Citrix team since the inception of WVD to really determine how best can Citrix layer on top of this solution to provide even additional capabilities and more complete solutions for customers that have extended needs. As many people are working on their migration to the cloud, they might have a significant investment in their on-prem data center still and want to start moving some workloads to the cloud. Well, Citrix Cloud with your hybrid support is a great example of where those customers now, when they have those Azure-based workloads, can leverage WVD using Citrix Cloud services. Right. And some of the enhancements we've made with this Windows 10 multi-user and the ability to run O365 Pro Plus, all those capabilities come over with Citrix Cloud users now as well. Okay and still access to all my data that I need whenever and wherever those workloads are running. Yeah, the one nice thing about the architecture of WVD is it's your IaaS as a customer. So you have a full suite of the capability we have in Azure for networking, VPNs, express routes, and all of our IaaS resources. All of the VMs that's available in the Azure catalog are available for you to build on top of this solution. Okay, now one concern out there that people might have is responsiveness of the critical apps that I use in a new WVD environment. So rumor has it, it's not a rumor, I just like to say that for the salaciousness of the video, <laughs> but there was an acquisition of FS Logics. Can you tell us about that? Yeah, so FS Logic has been a long-standing partner of Microsoft and Citrix for some time. They provide some great value-added services in this space for our mutual customers. Mm -hmm. One of the biggest value-added services they provide is the ability to, to have your office data follow you as you roam from machine to machine. So as you know, many of our customers provide virtualization experiences in a non-persistent environment where a user might get routed to any particular desktop on a different session. With FS Logic technology, that data follows them. So they right. can hit a machine, it's their first time on the machine, it'll look like that's their home PC. So to go to the core pillars, that experience for the user is, is preeminent. It's always there, especially with the acquisition of FS Logic right. built in. And we have the security built in, first and foremost and we have flexibility as well. So we're hitting all those pillars. It really is game changing. Yeah. Both for the end users that work within a virtualized environment and IT admins that are responsible for managing and deploying them. Everything I've come to expect to do my job every day. And I'm getting a question in late breaking from my producer, Scott. When will this be available? So we are running a private preview now. Uh, we're doing full public preview uh, the first quarter of 2019. Okay. and we'll be releasing in the first half of 2019. Now, before we wrap it up, one random question of the day. You are from Washington State, so are you team Starbucks or team Pete's Best Coffee? I have to go with Starbucks on that Starbucks. one. Starbucks, yep. okay. So that squashes the rumors right here and now that Scott is actually Pete from Pete's Coffee. So <laughs> glad we got that out of the way. All right, Scott, if you could real quick, where do we go from here? I say we continue with the same great playbook we've been running for the last 30 years, which is this deep engagement between Microsoft and Citrix. I've been working in this space for about four and a half, five years, and I'd say the relationship with Citrix is an all-time high. Nice. I always like to describe the Citrix-Microsoft relationship as it's a 30-year marriage, but the kids have moved out of the house and we're on a second honeymoon now. <laughs> All right, Scott, right I appreciate you coming by, man. And that does it for me. This has been Shondo on the Go, live at Hashtag Citrix Summit 2019 with our good friend Scott Manchester from Microsoft. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.